Which is better for your system, high airflow fans or high static pressure fans? Now, like a lot of things, it really does depend. And that's why I'm here to help you all learn when and where all these fans should be used. Let's get into this. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. So in all my demonstrations today, I will be using the Arctic Bionics fans. Now there are a few reasons for this. First, Arctic was kind enough to send me out these Bionic fans to help me explain all this to you. Second, I like that Arctic clearly indicates which fans are high airflow and which fans are high static pressure with their F and P series. F for flow and P for pressure. And the third reason, Arctic makes good fans. Why would I show crap fans when I'm trying to explain something? Now for the big question, is understanding the difference between high airflow and high static pressure fans important? Well, it does if you want a quieter and cooler system. Because if you buy the wrong fans, it would really suck if your CPU and GPU temperatures are hot enough to boil water, but your system still sounds like it's a jet plane about to take off. The difference between high airflow and high static pressure fans, simply put, is high airflow fans will move more air when there are no obstructions, or at least when the obstructions are minimal. For example, the rear exhaust of a case or behind a meshed front panel. This air movement is typically measured in CFM, and that's cubic feet per minute, and higher is better. Now a high static pressure fan pulls and or pushes the air harder, which makes it better suited for when there are obstructions, like for a CPU air cooler, radiator, or behind a restrictive front panel. This static pressure is typically measured in millimeters of water, yeah, I'm gonna have to explain that one. They use columns of water in a beaker or tube or something along those lines. And the millimeters of water is how much the pressure of the fan can actually lift the water. Yeah, I know, I, I didn't come up with the whole concept, but higher is better. Now the reason these fans do act so differently without getting too much into the whole science of the thing is primarily the fins or the blade design. So that's the shape, angle, and length of the blades, as well as the number of blades. Now the size of the fan and the RPM of the fan can also be important factors. Uh, now I am just mentioning this because if I don't, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna have down in the comments. Yeah, so I mentioned it, it can affect things, but the blade design really does determine how all the air moves through the fan. So yeah, physics, who would have thunk it? When it comes to choosing what type of fan you should buy, you really need to look at or think about where you'll be putting the fans, i.e. where in your case or your cooler. If the case you're using has a meshed front panel, there's really no reason to use static pressure fans in it outside of the cooler. And on the other hand, if you're looking to put fans behind a covered front panel, you shouldn't be using high airflow fans. And for CPU coolers and radiators, it's pretty universal. You should always be using a high static pressure fan. Now, something most people also need to realize is high static pressure fans aren't magic. They can only pull fresh air from the openings provided, so a solid front panel is a solid front panel. I'm sorry, but high static pressure fans don't defy the laws of physics. Just something to think about when you buy your next case. Now, when adding dust filters to a case, knowing which type of fan to buy does get a bit complicated, and that's because there are so many different combinations and types of filters. Now, if there is a dust filter behind a meshed front panel and you're looking to put your fans behind that filter, you should, in most situations, be fine with either a high static pressure or a high airflow fan. But if there's a dust filter behind a covered front panel and you're looking to put fans behind that filter, you definitely need high static pressure fans. Now, airflow and static pressure are very important, but they're not the only thing you should be looking at when you're buying a fan. Things like price, noise, and warranty are very important as well. Because if you do find a fan with a 15 millimeter of water pressure number beside it, but it needs to be running at 70 dBA from 50 centimeters away to actually hit that pressure, it's not a fan that you should be buying because you'll go deaf because that's very loud. And I do get these numbers are not realistic, but I'm just trying to make a point here. Just because it has the highest static pressure doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best fan for you. Now, I don't want to sound like an Arctic commercial here, but both the F and P series do have a very good noise to performance balance. 
a 10 year warranty, which is absolutely crazy. And they do come in both 120 and 140 millimeter variants for both the F and P series. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, maybe hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Maybe check out the videos I got right here. They should be pretty much along the same lines of what you're watching right now. Uh, I also have a Discord server. The link is in the description below and it is completely free to join. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.